Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to this Spellbinders card making project. This is our first project using our new dies from Zenspirations. And the first project that we're going to make is using one of the dies from the Live, Love and Laugh collection from the range. And we're also going to be using the Dove die from the Zenspirations range. So those are the two main items that we're going to use. Everything I do use I shall put in a list on my blog so please be sure to check it out in case I forget to mention something um, which I'll try not to do. I'm going to be using a 7x7 seven seven square base. Um, this is because what we're going to do is set out and it wants a bit of a larger area and I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp crease along the edge so it doesn't matter what size card that I use I still do that for the edge because it gives it a nice professional finish when it's stood on a mantelpiece now I think this card is quite a quick card but it's going to stand out and if if it wasn't for me chattering we'd have it done in you know half the time but obviously I want to sort of go through um, the things that I do for it. Now for the inside we've got a plain white inside of the card. I've taken a piece of white plain cardstock and cut it to fit inside and then I've used water around the edge and liquid ink. Now the liquid ink I used was just um, a general liquid ink refill and I've just dropped it on around the edge and then I've used pixie powders in bronze and while it's still wet I've just tapped the powder on and then I've taken another sheet of cardstock I've squished them both together and that is a technical term and then I've peeled them away and I'm left with this I did slightly dry it with the heat gun just to take off the excess of water because it was starting to build at the edge and I thought it would warp but very simply water around the edge drop of liquid ink and as I say anything from um, a water based colour so you could use your water colours you could use your water brushes drop the colour on and then simply tap the pixie powder on and it gives this gorgeous marbling and you've got the effect from the pixie powders so I've got double sided tape on the back I've actually got a little bit more tape because of the paper having been wet I'm just scared that it might curl up a little bit so I always add just a tiny touch more adhesive um, when it's had water on it so I just want to pick which way around I'm going to use it because I think that way, I think that's a good way. So I'm simply going to pop that through the centre of my card, like that, and press it down nice and firmly. And then what I've done is I've die cut the white dove and I've die cut the word love. So we've die cut from the white, um, we've die cut the white dove from the dove die and I've taken it through my Xyron machine because I want to show you that even though the dies are neat you can still use your Xyron machine and I'm going to simply pop the dove up towards the bottom of the card like that so it goes over the edge of the actual layer we've just put on and then I'm going to add the word love now mine's got slightly warm for some reason and it's curled a little bit away from the backing sheets. So I'm just going to simply add a little bit of extra adhesive on the back of it. Just to show that even though you've got your zyre on, um, you can still just add a little bit more adhesive if you don't think there's enough. And then I'm going to add the word love just above the die cut of the dove towards the centre and press it down 
and that is our insert finished now I think it's a quick and simple insert we've got lots of colour in there and we've even got the metallic shining from the pixie powder we've got our die cut dove and our word love and then we've got enough room for our messages to, from and you know a nice long message but it's just such a pretty and easy insert so now we can turn our attention to the outside I'm going to use my bone folder again just to make sure I've got a nice sharp edge and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a matte and layer so my first layer is a black base. I've cut out the base in just plain general black cardstock like so. Pop that on. Our next layer is a plain white layer just in general cardstock. So these are our first two mats and layers. I've kept them whole um, for this one because it's quite a flat based card sometimes I'd be quite economical with the centre of my layers but I just thought for this one I'll keep them whole so that's our first two layers next what I've done is the same process that I used for the inside I've used for the outside I've cut a piece of card, I've covered it with water, I've flicked watercolour ink on and then pixie powders, I've blotted it with another piece of uh, card and then I've left it to dry. Again, I did use the heat gun a little bit around the edges and then I've matted it onto black cardstock and I've got this gorgeous kind of like... Um, don't know what you'd call it like a um, metallic watery kind of background just so pretty with all those different color tones and I've got double-sided tape on the back of this already where I've matted it onto the black just because the card was curling so I thought I'm gonna stick it down straight away to stop that curl um, because then we'd have been in trouble if I hadn't so that's my top tip if you do this and wet your paper so much it curls make sure you stick it down well so it doesn't warp on your card so that's our next layer so from this I've die cut the white dove uh, the white dove, sorry. I've die cut the dove in white cardstock and then I've also die cut it in black. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount one on top of the other and then get a shadow effect behind the dove. So the black will just show slightly around the dove like that. And then the black I've got on 3D foam and I'm going to add this to the centre of our card like that. There we go. And now I've die cut the word love four times again from our set of four uh, three dies and I've popped it through the Xyron for the adhesive and then I'm just simply going to add these around the edge like this and just following the edge round and making sure I've got one on all four sides like that and then the last one will go just on this edge now shall we do it that way 
I think we will. There. So we've got the word love on all four corners. And that's our card finished. Such a gorgeous, pretty card. Very simple with the die cutting and the colour. The background makes everything else stand out. You see, I nearly used the word, it makes it pop. But, you know, I'm not that keen on that expression. Um, but it does, it just makes it stand out. And the shadowing around the white dove just makes it look so pretty. And the inside matches perfectly. An ideal anniversary card. Stands up nicely. Would go in a normal envelope. And it's just a great option for how to use your Spellbinders dies. For the Live, Love and Laugh collection and the Dove. Very pretty. Please share if you've enjoyed this project. If you've got anything to say, please feel free. Let me know. Let me know if you enjoy the projects. Let me know if you don't enjoy the projects. There's so many on my blog. Um, there's something for everybody. And there's lots of tricks and techniques on there as well. So I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you next time.